You are looking at a live picture from our Liberty University sky cam. Oh, what a beautiful sight. Blue skies, sunshine, no humidity. We've got a few clouds up in areas north of us into New York and also into Pennsylvania, but all that staying to the north of us as high pressure is in charge and will continue to be in charge of our weather here for much of the work week. Future tracker showing overnight tonight being dry. We're mostly clear on Tuesday. We're looking at a mainly sunny sky. I will tell you that it would not surprise me if we start to see just a little more cloud cover around, say, sunset tomorrow. And then after about 8 o'clock through maybe around midnight, we will have the chance for a few showers or thunder showers in areas north of Highway 460. So if you're watching us in Covington, Hot Springs, Monterey, Millboro, areas around Lexington, you have the chance for a few showers or thunderstorms very, very late tomorrow afternoon, especially into tomorrow evening. Then that activity winds down and then Wednesday will be a day where we're partly sunny. Looks like we'll have a slight chance for a few showers on Wednesday afternoon in areas south of Highway 460. So Tuesday, Wednesday, the vast majority of us stay dry, but you need to know that there's also a slight chance for just a few showers both of those days as well. A break in the action for the next few days as the jet stream is really allowing all the heat to really stay to the south of us. The coldest air is staying way to the north of us. And what this means is with this jet stream situated the way it is, limited rain chances, again, a slight chance, 20% chances on Tuesday and Wednesday, then Thursday is dry. Lower humidity for us here for the next couple of days as well. But do you see this bubble of heat down here? towards Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi. That all heads back up to the north as we head into late this week, Friday, especially into this upcoming weekend as summer heat and humidity come back into play. And then we're also going to have this front swinging through here on Saturday and Sunday. What that means is more heat, more humidity, more rain chances, more thunderstorm chances as we head, especially again Saturday into Sunday. It looks like those two days will be the wettest days out of the next seven. So overall, we're just going to see more instability here as the heat and humidity return by Friday, Saturday and Sunday. It's 84 right now, Smith Mount Lake 79 in Covington, 75 in Withville, 74 in Hillsville and Galax. You head farther to the west and that's where the bubble of heat is at its strongest. It is 84 right now in Wichita, 89 in New Orleans, 93 in El Paso. This heat and humidity comes back into play for us here within four days. But enjoy this beautiful weather while it's here tonight. Very pleasant. There could be a few folks towards the highlands in the upper 40s. Everybody else is in the 50s. Now as we head into the day tomorrow, we are looking at more sun than clouds again in the evening. We will have the chance for maybe isolated showers, even a few storms into the highlands, also into the southern Shenandoah. 80 on Wednesday, stray shower 81 Thursday, mostly sunny. A few mountain showers on Friday, scattered thunder showers Saturday and Sunday with a leftover shower or two on Monday. Temperatures for the next couple of days, though, couldn't be much better.